In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Schnorf from Awesome Final Cut. Schnorf is a fun, easy to use effect that animates any element on screen into or out of a morphing vortex spiral. Schnorf was designed exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find it in the effects and titles browsers under Schnorf. Let's take a look at how it works. On my timeline, I have a simple image of a globe. To avoid unwanted cropping of graphics, it's best to create a new compound clip for each element you'd like to schnorf. I'll drag and drop the effect. On-screen controls let you position the element, modify the spiral direction, as well as adjust the vort position, which is the point at which the element is sucked in or out. We can create a vortex swirl look by dialing the spiral angle in either direction. The spiral range slider is there to adjust the radius of the swirl. A drip or inflate look can be easily accomplished by having no spiral angle set with the vort positioned above or below. You can speed up or slow down the animation using the duration slider. The style dropdown gives you some choices to further enhance the effect. Enabling the Colorize at Vort checkbox allows you to assign a color overlay to the element during the effect. Schnorf includes a masking mode, which, when enabled, allows you to reveal another graphic or video in the shape of your original image or text. In this mode, you have opacity sliders to set the fill as the object itself, a drop zone, or a color. Layering multiple instances of these modes provide the freedom to create some pretty interesting looks. To incorporate an outgoing animation, I'll simply make a cut, and on the second clip, hit the reverse checkbox, switch up the style, and modify the spiral direction and range parameters. And just like that, I have a schnorf in, schnorf out animation. When schnorfing an element that is scaled beyond your project's dimensions, you might notice unwanted cropping of your graphic mid-schnorf. Clicking the Extend Canvas checkbox will resolve this. Next, I've got a scene set up on my timeline and want to transport the subject from one area to another. The first step is to make the subject appear as if they are being sucked out of the first environment. I'll add schnorf, enable the reverse control, and fine-tune the vort and spiral controls. I'm also going to check the Colorize at Vort checkbox and keep the color set to white. Next, I'll add Schnorf to my new scene. I'm going to choose the Accelerate style and adjust the spiral direction and range. And finally, I'll make my subject appear to transport into the new environment. I'll adjust the vort and spiral parameters to get it just right. I'll quickly show you the Schnorf title effect, a handy inclusion that makes it easy to animate opening titles, lower thirds, infographics, and more. We've only scratched the surface of the fun and unique looks that Schnorf from Awesome Final Cut can produce. With easy to use controls and a variety of options to play around with, the only thing missing is your creativity. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.